Good afternoon, everybody. This is Remy. Welcome, welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to fix some delicious shrimp and steak fajita. So, um, I'm going to, what I'm going to do is show you what I marinate that in. And I will marinate it for a couple of hours, between two to three hours, or more if you have time. But if not, you can do two hours at the most, a three, four, something like that, whatever time you have, or you can even do it before you go to work. So let me show you. I found this at Aldi. It's called Beep Shape Steak. Um, it's pretty, look like it's pretty good. It's like an, a pound, um, and it's thinly shaved. And um, I, this is my first time trying this. At Aldi, usually I just do a regular steak, a sirloin or a skirt, and cut it up. This is already shaved for you, very convenient. And I did a pound of extra large shrimp. I'm gonna do a, a half a cup of yellow pepper, green pepper, and actually it's like a half of yellow pepper and green pepper and then a half of a large onion, and maybe a, a tablespoon of lemon juice, and a quarter of a cup of cilantro. It's, I just love the smell of cilantro. And some cumin, a teaspoon of cumin, a teaspoon of paprika, and then a teaspoon of, of course, garlic and onion powder, half a teaspoon of salt, and half a teaspoon of chili pepper. So what I do is I just put it in a baggie, Ziploc zip baggie, and just put all the ingredients together. Very easy. I'm gonna take the shrimp first. I hope you guys are having a good day so far. My day is almost over, so. So, I'm pretty good right now. And then um, I'm gonna go ahead and add all my vegetable in. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do some of the lemon in here. This is like a half a lemon. And then I'll go ahead and put my cilantro, my garlic and onion, my cumin, my paprika, my chili, not but not least, my salt. And so you can always, like always, while you're cooking later, you can always see if you need more salt. So I'm, I'm making sure these are all mixed in here. Yep, and I put it in the fridge until I'm ready for it to be cooked. And then I'll show you what it looks like. Making sure all the marinade is mixed. Okay, so after it marinates, I'm going to show you how. Marinating our vegetable and our meat, the steak and the shrimp. As you can see, they're all marinated. My steak and my shrimp. And then my, my vegetable with green pepper and yellow pepper and onion and I also put a tablespoon of minced garlic and tables two tablespoons of olive oil on the marinade um, so now when we do cook it we don't need any kind of oil in this pan so I'm gonna do the vegetable first you can see there's some meat in here so I'm gonna just separate it 
But I'm gonna mm, this it's a beautiful dish. So many different colors and the taste because you marinate it and all these. So many seasonings. Oh, let me take the shrimp out, take that away from me. And another one. So uh, this dish can feed almost at least four or five people at the most and and see how beautiful it is just a few minutes depending on how you like your vegetable you want it well done put it uh, some more time but if you don't you can also Take it right away. I don't like um, too, too, too done, but I also want my vegetable be done. And I, and this one looked like, I mean, I need a little bit of more olive oil. I said I already put two, and I'm gonna put maybe one more tablespoon so it won't get dried up. And then I will also heat up my tortilla. And then you're pretty much done. And I also cook some of my Spanish rice and I will show you how to cook that in a later, later time. I separate the meat because as you know, meat can stay long, cook longer, even though my meat it's like really shaved. It can probably work, but I just for for just safety reason, I want to make sure everything is cooked and well done. So now I'm gonna go ahead and take this out, and then I can come back to it and mix it later after I finish my meat. You can see how pretty that is. We got some escapee, but that's that's okay. No worries. So I'm gonna do my steak first as usual. Make sure my steak is well done. So. This is the one I bought at Aldi. So this is my first time making this. You're gonna see how this tastes with this fajita. My husband likes to take steak really tender. Doesn't like tough meat and I don't either, so I don't blame him. I don't blame him whatsoever. So just make sure this steak it's well done. Put it medium high. When it starts turning brown, that's when, because this is really thin, this steak right here. It's like what you would use for steak and cheese sandwich. That's how thin it was. So I'm going to make sure all the side is done. And also, when you marinate sometimes, it, it usually tenderizes the meat. So. And let's make sure all the side is done. I'm going to cook it for another two minutes. And then we'll add the shrimp. We're going to put the steak on the side like this, on the side, and then we'll cook the shrimp. And the shrimp cook when it turns pink. It's very quick. 
So let's cook the shrimp and then this meal is almost, almost ready. That's how easy and delicious this meal is. This is my finished product. My dinner for tonight. See how delicious and easy that is? And I just put some side sour cream, some cheese, tomato with green with red onion, and cilantro. And of course, we're not gonna forget our tortilla. So hopefully you tried this dish and you guys have a good night. Thank you for watching and thank you for all my subscribers. And please hit that like button and that please click that bell so you can always be notified in my new videos um and please have a good night have a good week take care bye bye